Look, kid, have my daughter home at 10.30. Not 10.31, not 10.45, 10.30. And she better come back the same way she left you. Clean and untouched. You got it? Hey, Tim, what did my dad say to you? Um, nothing important. No, really? Please, tell me? Well, your pop's crazy, bitch. I thought he was the Lord's servant. Well, he does get overly protective when it comes to me. Bree, can I ask you something? Yeah? Are you still, you know, holding your V-card? Well, why? You want to take it? Now, my guy, I'm going to ask you one more time. What would you do? See, when a shorty asks you to take her V-card, ooh, that's special. See, women have a special instinct, especially when it comes to that right one. And to Bridget, I was the special one. I was the chosen one. I deserved that. Now, I've been down this road before. I remember losing my V card, so I wanted to make it special for my girl Bridget. But at the same time, your boy was broke as fuck. So to get the night started, first, I pulled up to the local store. Excuse me, brother. I would like to buy some, uh, <coughs> you know, love gloves. A word? Damn, kid. It's like that? Yeah, fam, you feel me? Sure do. Hey, she got a friend? Nah, player. Damn. Hey, kid, you better represent. Got you, kid. So, I copped some love glove and made my way back to the whip. Now, since this was a special night, your boy pulled up to the nicest restaurant y'all could think of. Welcome to McDonald's. Can I take your order? All right, Tim, you got to go all out. Yes, let me get two number ones and um, add an extra large cup of coffee. Because your boy's going to need that caffeine in a minute. Ooh! Then, we pulled over to the local park, parked the car, and it was finally that time. So, I looked Bridget deep in her eyes and said, Bree, you got $5? Man, I just spent all the money. I don't think we got enough gas money to get back. Relax, Tim. Yeah, I got you. Then came the moment. Okay, Tim. Don't be nervous. You've done this before. You are that guy. You are the chosen one. You that. But before going in, I made sure Shorty was ready. Bree, are you sure you want to go through with this? Yes, I'm sure. Look, it's okay if you're not ready. But I feel you damn Tim. Homie, lay that pipe. But you see, Bridget was special. And I wanted to make sure there wasn't a doubt in her mind that this is what she wanted to do. So we moved on to the back seat. Now since we're in the new PG era of YouTube, please believe they're not gonna let your boy explain what happened next. So we're gonna let you use your imagination. But let's just say your boy represented for three long hours. Okay, I'm capping more like 25 minutes, but 25 solid minutes. So after the pure state of euphoria, Bridget and I laid out in the grass, looked in the sky, and thank God for a beautiful night. So, Bree, how was it? Everything I ever dreamed of. Okay, damn, Ty, you still got it, my guy. Oh, cool. By the way, what time is it? Oh, it's only 12 o'clock. What? 12? Now, if you remember back, Bree Pops had warned me to return her daughter by 10.30. And now we're running past midnight. See, I lost track of time when, you know, your boy was busy plumbing that garden. Bree, I gotta take you home now. Why? Your Pops said to bring you back by 10.30. I'm so tired of being treated like the innocent church girl. I'm not going. Yeah? If you don't go back home, your pop's going to kill me. So with no other option, we got in the whip and started gunning. Your boy was pushing a hunter on a 45, speeding all the way to her crib. So we get there, and guess who's standing outside the door waiting for that fade? Bridget's dad. Damn. Dad, what are you doing outside? Bridget, get in the house. Now. Now, I told you to have my daughter here back by 1030. And look what time it is. Sir? I apologize. We must have lost track of time. Lost track of time? How about I stick my foot up your lost time ass? Whoa, old man. I think you need to relax. Daddy, stop. So here we are. Me and Bridget's dad about to throw hands. All right, Tim. Drop this fool before you try some. Now dropping an old man, better yet a preacher, wasn't how I intended to end the night. But I'm going to defend myself by any means necessary. But then Bridget mom comes outside. Oh dear, what is going on out here? You two need to stop it. Bridget, I forbid you to ever see this thug again. Thug? Who are you calling a thug? I said you two stop it. You know what? I'm out. Bye, Bridget. So I got in the whip and drove off. So fast forward a few days later and I got a text message from Bridget. Message says, hey Tim, you should come over to the crib. My pops isn't home. Now, I wasn't falling for that again. Oh no. So I hit Bridget back like, mm-mm. 
Nah, bitch. I don't think that's a good idea. Now your girl Bridget used the power of lust. So she hits me with the, I'll make it worth your while. Swoop. Now, come on, my God, this is Teenage Tim we're talking about. So words like, I'm going to make it worth you a while, sounded like pure bliss. And to top it off, Bridget assured me that her parents were gone for the day and would return until the next night. Okay, cool. So I got on my whip, gunning, hitting 120, drove all the way to Bridget's crib and pulled up. Now, just to be sure, I got to the back and checked the premises just to make sure the coast was clear. Okay, cool. Looks like Pop's going for real. Then I knocked on the door. Bridget opens, wearing, ooh, wait. Lord, have mercy. Baby, you looking mm, mm, good. Well, so are you. So we got in the crib and started getting comfortable. But then it suddenly hit me. It just didn't feel right. Sneaking into the house all while her father forbade us just didn't feel good. So I looked dead at Bri and said, Bridget, I don't think I could do this anymore. What do you mean? Look, I like you, B. But I can't keep doing this. It just doesn't feel right. No, it's okay, Tim. My dad will never find out. Then I heard it. The door opening from the back. Oh, shh. So, this is what you two have been up to. Son, I have to say, I'm sorry for treating you unfairly. Now, for you, young lady, you've disappointed me. No, Dad. I promise it wasn't me. It was Tim's fault. He came here all by himself. B, what? I know this B ain't trying to throw me under the bus. No, young lady. I heard the whole thing. Thank God this man was hiding behind the door. Now I wasn't going to stay any longer and partake in this family feud. So I excused myself, got outside, and heard the sweet sound of black love. So moral of the story, it's better to bruise a heart with the truth than to break one with a lie. What's up, world? Thank you for joining your boy for another video. First thing first, your boy delivered two videos in two days. Damn, Tim. Now that's hard work. So show your boy some love by smashing that like button. And I'll see you in the comments. Thanks for the love, fam. Now let's get straight to the shout outs. This week's first shout out goes to the Icy King Daddy. What's up, King? Okay, I see you. My man's 17 and ready to finally become an adult. That's what's up. Follow the youngin' on IG as King Danny26. Keep doing your thing, young homie. Second shout out goes to the one and only Orlando Frederick. What's up? Oh, we got an animator. That's what's up, dog. Follow the kid on IG as DI3 Menos and on YouTube as DI3 Animations. Keep doing your thing, bro. And last shout out goes to my guy, Anthony. What's up, fam? Oh, we got an upcoming soccer star in the building. Okay, dog. Well, follow the kid on IG as. Wonga Anthony, keep doing your thing. And my brother, keep shooting for the stars. I'll see you in the World Cup. If you want a chance to win a shout out, subscribe to the channel, follow your boy on IG, and send me that screenshot. As always, live timeless.